What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my competitive class setups. Please note that right now they are interchangeable for the different game modes. Um, I usually just have to change, like, maybe, usually I don't have to change anything. I might change the exo ability or whatever, but I'm using them for all game modes right now. Um, also, all of these classes will be in accordance with the current rule set, which I'm sure will change within a day or two or a week or whatever. It'll, it's going to change a lot. Um, so hope you, hope they can help you guys for now. Um, and when new rules come out or if something big happens, then I will make another class setup video. So getting into it, my first one is my rush hybrid class. Um, and I, in it, I am using the BAL with stock quick draw and laser sight and then perks. I got lightweight flak jacket, then gung ho, then toughness and blast suppressor, and then a stun grenade. Basically this is is a class where I've turned an AR into a submachine gun almost, only it's actually good because most submachine guns are not very good in this game right now um, and they need buffs. But yeah, this is one that I'll use to rush around the map very, very quickly, um, kind of get in people's faces. And of course, and one thing you'll notice through all my classes is when I'm using stun grenades, it's like I, I use stuns or smokes and that's it. Stun grenades, I use them because nobody's going to take hardwired over blast suppressor or toughness so it's always going to do something and I feel like most people are going to have flak jacket so I don't really see the point in running too many nades but um, that's just me. Alright next class is another one it's the stealth here it's another BAL class and I've got the stock quick draw and suppressor on it and then lightweight cold blooded toughness blast suppressor exo cloak and then two smoke grenades. Uh, basically this is one for kind of staying hidden on hills or um, stealthily capping flags or camping in a base or whatever. And then for S&D, it's very, very good for um, actually a bomb planning class or getting behind them. I know most people don't like to run cloak, but I've seen a few pros use cloak and smoke combo, which works really, really well. You can't see them through the smoke at all. Um, and it's very, very confusing, especially with that suppressor on. So this is um, a pretty good stealth class here. Next one is my regular BAL class, and on it I've got the red dot, stock, quick draw, and then lightweight, flak jacket, cold-blooded, toughness, and blast suppressor, and then the exo stem here. Um, and stem is one that some people are saying is going to be banned pretty soon, so keep that in mind. Basically, it uh, lets you recover health a lot faster for a brief period of time. So this is one where I'm looking to get more in medium range gunfights, maybe some long range and um, kind of staying back a little bit. A little bit of stealth with that cold-blooded, but uh, just kind of hide around a corner, heal up real fast, and get in the gunfights again. So it's good for applying pressure and perhaps uh, working the spawns and things like that. Next class is my Thermal BAL class, and this one is a lot slower. Um, you'll see that I have the Thermal and Quick Draw. I don't have stock on this one. And then Lightweight, Flak Jacket, Cold-blooded, Toughness, Blast Suppressor, Stem, Smoke Grenade, and then the RW1. Um, RW1 is the one-shot pistol. That is another one that might get banned. We'll have to see. But uh, this is a much slower class for me. I know some people like to run stock and thermal. Um, I really I don't like doing that. But um, the thermal sight in this game is really, really good. It's absolutely amazing. I'll, I'm actually pr planning on doing an in-depth video with the thermal because there's a few things that you guys need to know about it. But uh, yeah, this one is for staying back, picking people off, ch um, holding down choke points, things of that nature. My next class is essentially the exact same thing. The only difference is that it's on the IMR, which is a four-round burst weapon. Um, and this is just another AR that I like to use right now. Um, it's, bas it's essentially the same thing. It's just this one I play even more passively with. Next class here is going to be my regular IMR class, and this has red dot, quick draw, and stock on it. And then a uh, lightweight flak jacket, gung ho, toughness, blast suppressor, and a stun grenade. Essentially, this class is um, another one where I can kind of move around a little bit quicker. Uh, just kind of... It, it, it's weird. With this gun, you can do hip fire and it's actually pretty darn accurate that's one of the reasons why I got gung-ho also gung-ho allows me here to kind of make up for the fact that I'm more of a, a long distance weapon um, that that perk could change for me I don't know we'll have to see and then of course the stun just because I love running stuns on this game right now 
Next class is the ASM-1. This is actually a submachine gun. I got the advanced rifling, quick draw, and then lightweight flak jacket, gung-ho, toughness, blast suppressor, overclock, and two stun grenades. This, is, this class is all about speed um, and hip firing, obviously. This class you need to be pretty close with. The range drops pretty quickly. Um, but it's it's a very good submachine gun, when, and when I say that, I say it hesitantly because SMGs are not really that good in this game. But um, it's one that can be used. This is one that I would use if I'm going to be running flags or if I'm going to be playing OBJ. Uh, and that's part of why the overclock is there, just so I can move even quicker. Uh, very, very strong class for a fast-paced game. Next one is the KF-5. It's the exact same thing, except it's a different submachine gun. Everything is the same about it. Um, I haven't decided which of those two SMGs I really like better. They both have their advantages and disadvantages, so I'm using them both for now. Next class is my shotgun class, and I don't really pull this one out, um, mostly because, I, I don't know, it just it doesn't feel right to be using a shotgun in this game to me for some reason. I just feel like running ARs pretty much all the time, but I have it here anyway just in case, and it, it could get banned for all I know, but I've got the advanced rifling, laser sight, and extended mags on my bulldog there, then lightweight, gung-ho, toughness, and blast suppressor, then we got the overclock, stun grenade, and the RW1. Uh, j one thing I should point out, out about the gung-ho perk is that the run animation is different, and it was really annoying to me at first, and so I tend to use my classes with cold-blooded over the ones with gung-ho simply for that reason. Um, but it's it's okay. It, like, at first I thought it was a glitch, but it, it's not, so don't worry if your running animation looks a little weird. Um, next class is my sniper class. This is another one I don't use very often because you have to be an excellent sniper in this game. However, I do pull it out occasionally. Um, it's the MORS with a thermal sight, and then lightweight flak jacket, cold-blooded fast hands, toughness blast suppressor, RW1, and a stun grenade. Uh, and this is so that, that so I've got two one-shot weapons that both have one bullet in the chamber, so that's why I have the fast hand, so if I miss with one, I can quickly change to the other real quick. Um, and yeah, that's all my classes for now, guys. Uh, like I said, they're interchangeable, and feel free to change them however you wish. This is kind of help give you guys an idea of what to use. So as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what I can do better next time. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everybody.